Hi everybody, I'm George, and again, here we continue this series of Supernatural Christianity, and I'm reading from uh, Samuel, second chapter of Samuel, verse 22, and it's a prayer of David, it's amazing, amazing prayer, study it in different translation. In this particular translation, he says, at, uh, I don't even know which verse, to be honest, because this particular uh, doesn't have any numbers, but it's somewhere in the middle of the chapter 20. Two verse uh, maybe uh, maybe thirty verse twenty five or something or twenty it says God made my life complete. Would you just receive it as that's what the word of the Lord is for you? He wants to make you complete and I feel like David when I when I placed all the pieces before him. Who he says I, I haven't taken God for granted. Often we do that. We just take it for granted. It says every day. I review the way he works, the ways he works. I try not to miss a trick. And I feel put back together. I'm watching every step. I'm, watch, I'm watching my step. He says, God rewrote the text of my life. When I opened the book of my heart to his eyes. Ho, <sighs> ho. Let it hit you. You know how we go to the movies and we open our eyes and we open our emo emo hearts, emotions, and we watch this movie and it gets overtaken, you know. And even though it's movie and it's not blood, it's let's say paint or something and they're all actors, but somehow you, 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 you can't pull away emotionally and you can't tell yourself, oh, well, that's just this or that. No, because you're absorbed in that. And the movie has that kind of an effect. I mean, the only way to, you know, control yourself emotions is just to run away or something is looking at something else. Because while in that movie, it just works that way. Well, you know, this is better than a movie. When you, when you, when you, when you every day go to God, it's like, Lord, make, make it better than the movies. And there is a way that the, 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 the prophet David has experienced that. Through worship and through praise, he gets... It's more and more intense and more and more, you know, and, and don't just, you know, just praise Him, but jump around. Halal praise, spinning around. There's an emotion. There's an affection. There's motion. Motion and emotion. Praise should be motion and emotion. Uh, don't just sit there. I mean, unless you're in a deep worship and you're just prostrated and it's completely overwhelmed. But, but start praising. Start praising. And don't just mumble little praises, but start praising about who he is and what he is. And that's how I learned how to, how to praise him. I was a communist, atheist, and I didn't believe in nothing when God saved me. I said, God, I don't know how to talk to you. I'm 25, and I don't know first thing about talking to you. I li listen to other Christians around me say things, but how do I, what am I supposed to talk? How am I supposed to pray? And God goes, open the book of Psalms. Someone gave me Bulgarian Bible, and I began to he says, tell me, talk to me, the book. Talk to me through the, through the chapters of the book. Just go ahead and express it. Oh, God, you're my God. And I'm going, wow, David said that. He goes, yeah, you can say it. I can say it? Yeah, you can say it. Oh, God. You know what that always there? It's not just, oh. <laughs> it's, oh. It's emotion. That's always for purpose is to express Oh, God, you're my God. You're my God. You're mine, mine, mine. Possession. God is a possessive God. He, he wants all of you, all your affections, all your emotions. Don't give your emotion and your affection away to nothing. Don't let worry destroy your emotions. Nowadays, I don't even, not that I think there's anything wrong with, with TV or anything, but, you know, every night I, I go to a hotel room and, and, and I want, I, God goes, I want your eyes to look at me. I want time. You're busy, busy, and so, okay, now there's a half an hour, an hour. Why don't you, why don't you just look at me? Turn on God channel, the God, the God himself. God TV is great, but God himself says, how about me? Looking at me, let me talk to you, let me love you. Let me put you to sleep. Let me put you to bed. Let me, let me, let me. You know, he wants, he craves our emotions. He craves our affection. He craves us. You know, he wants us all the time. You got to see that God craves you.
God craves your affection. He, God craves your attention. God wants our attention all the time. He is not just a little jealous. Jealous is his name, his nature. Whoa. And um, right here, uh, it says that God gives attention to the appearance of wildflowers in Matthew verse six, uh, chapter 6, excuse me, verse 20, 27 or 28. It says, if God gives such attention, hello, to the appearance of wildflowers, most of which have never been seen, don't you think he'll attend to you and take pride in you? Don't you understand he's attending at you and he's taking pride at, in you? and do his best for you. What I'm trying to get you here is to relax, says Jesus, and not to be preoccupied with getting and worrying and I got to do this, I got to do that, uh, so that you can respond. Christianity is a response from A to Z, a response to God giving from, from the cross to the grave to the resurrection to, on the throne. It's all response. Working with him is a response. We're not together just working for him. But working with him. He's in us and, and, and starts with looking at him and listening to him. And if you study the wars of Israel, every one of the wars, when, when they were fighting, um, exactly as God told them, was a landslide victory. Child of God, this is the destiny for you and me. But if we do this warfare or this life alone and trying to be this and that for him, we'll miss the whole point and we'll, we'll always be struggling. But when we're looking at him and cooperating with him, then it's a landslide victory. Prime example, Joshua. Have you ever been to the battlefield with Joshua where they just crossed Jordan? You know, first thing is, uh, says, uh, uh, I mean, I've been to Jordan at that place where they crossed the river and it's right close to Jericho. It's almost like, you know, a mile or, or two miles away. And it's like, here they are, and God crosses the Red Sea, and then he says, circumcise all the, all, the, all the boys and all men, because for all these years, they didn't just circumcise. I mean, circumcise, circumcision is a painful thing, and it, it'll last for a couple of days, and you just can't recover that quickly from that, especially if you're an adult. You know, and in the natural, it's the most ridiculous thing. You shouldn't do this here. You should do it across the joint of the other side, protect it, at least by the river. Not when we're sitting ducks here at the river and these enemies are so close and we cannot fight now. But God says, rolled over that shame of Egypt. Cut, it, cut the circumcision is the, like prototype of the cutting away the, the heart, the, the heart that is connected to that slavery and to the fear and everything. And just, and I'll give you a new heart. Let's get the stone heart away, spirit circumcision, and give you a new heart. So there they are circumcised in a way incapable really to fight. And then God gives Joshua's order. Here's how I'm going to do it. Here's how I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you take over that city. I've already planned its takeover. They're already trembling in their boots. They've been trembling for 40 years because they heard how I destroyed Egypt and how I destroyed all these other you know, uh, kings that were against you. And now they're already trembling. They're, they're already defeated. But here's how we're going to do it. So you don't get the glory. We're going to walk around for seven days. Without whisper, oh, I mean that's a tall order. I don't know if you, if you Joshua, your first, your general, the first battle, come on, everybody go, let's fight, and they go, no, not even touching your swords. What? Yeah, do do what do what God says. God says, whisper, walking around, no whispering. Shh. What kind of a battle is, plan is that? I mean, it's ridiculous, it's in the natural, you know. And, but that's what the Lord says, because says, I, I, I'll give you the city. And here's how I'm going to walk around. And then on the seventh day, shout, who? And when, when you shout, you'll see what happened. And that's exactly what they did. And when they shouted, boom, the walls fell down, and they took over. And, and they had a completely landslide victory. Come on, somebody. Can you, can you hear what God is saying here? Whoa, I'm trying to get you to listen to me and, and look at me. And I'll defeat the enemy of poverty. I take care of the flowers. I take care of the sparrows. Don't you think I already planned? Oh, it says, it says, look at me. 
relax. Don't strive here. Don't get s stressed out. Just keep time with me and look at how I work. Look at, look at, steep your life in God's reality, in God's initiative, in God's provisions. Stop worrying. Give your entire attention to what God is doing right now. And don't work, be worked up about tomorrow. Just look at what God is doing right now. Give your entire attention. Wow. So that's, what, that's my battle plan for you is let's look at God and let's look at what He does and let's look at His ways and listen to His voice and learn from Him. And we're going to experience landslide victories. I believe that house is not going to get foreclosed. I believe as you look at it, God, instead of worrying about the price and this and that, God will be able to, to protect you. God is well able. Shakara Baba. So, Father, I just thank you for this supernatural, supernatural way that you've led the armies of, of, of all the, the children of God to possess the land. And how much more now that Christ Jesus has been offered as a complete sacrifice to defeat every every strength, every control and power of the enemy around us. You, even when we're surrounded by the enemy, you put a table before us, a table of fellowship, table of looking, hi, eating and drinking, talking, having a fellowship with the Lord. Isn't that amazing? I just love you and bless you. And I think that the enemy try to distract you, but that's not going to happen. Stay focused and tuned and give him full attention emotionally, affectionately, mentally, and guess what? You're going to have a landslide victory. Guaranteed. Landslide victory. You do what the Lord says. Guaranteed landslide victory. I love you. Expect love, love, more love. <laughs>